Hey guys, I'm Ethan from Ichiban Engineering and ISM here and today we're going to talk about the difference of a journal bearing turbo and a ball bearing turbo and which one really you should get for your car. Start with the journal bearing. So a journal bearing is a very um, simple system. There is a journal, it's made of a soft metal like brass or bronze in some cases and it sits like this on your shaft and there are holes here. So this system requires a lot of oil pressure and the reason is the oil goes in here and has to separate the shaft from the journal and the journal from the bearing housing. If there is any contact of metal to metal, the journal will start to wear and you will have what we call a shaft play. So when you put your hand on the turbo, it will move. You see this turbo doesn't move, this is a ball bearing turbo. With journal bearings you have some play, really when they wear out you'll have a lot of play, they'll get damaged faster than a ball bearing. Um, because they really rely on high oil pressure. If your car has an oil pressure problems or there is a, a drop in oil pressure, the turbo might get damaged. They cannot run with low oil pressure. They don't require a restrictor on the other hand as well. Now on the ball bearing side, we got all kinds of different ball bearings. We got this, this is a full complement ball bearing. It's pretty big, it's for a bigger shaft. We got bearing, this is a bearing sleeve. We got a triple ball bearing here, so there's two bearings on the side on the turbine side and one on the impeller side. This is a caged ball bearing, it has a cage. This is a full complement, so it doesn't have a cage. Um, this sleeve is stainless steel. This is a Garrett OEM one that broke. It's very small. Uh, not every ball bearing turbo is burned the same, so when you purchase one, you really need to know what you're getting. And in some cases, uh, like this one, which is from a very popular brand, it's pretty small. Uh, they tend to rip at some point because of the load from the turbine shaft and the balls break and fall down. Uh, what we did in our turbos is really we got a larger sleeve. Even if your turbo gets hot, it's very hard for the bearings to get hot. There's a pretty thick sleeve here and how it sits down is like this. This is a used TD-06 shaft but just for a demonstration and it's run freely. With ball bearings, because the contact area of the ceramic balls to the race and the iron race, it's very small, they spin freely, there is no friction, and they don't require much oil pressure. In fact, if you were to put a lot of oil in this, it will spin less freely. And that's why we use restrictors, uh, because they don't really need that much oil. Extra oil might damage them. It might also damage your seals. So when the turbine shaft sits here, there's a seal, there's a piston ring, just like a piston ring. And where's the over pressure, this thing will shrink and oil will go out or Worse than that, exhaust gas will go inside your bearing housing and to contaminate the oil. Yeah, this is pretty much it. There is a misconception among people thinking a ball bearing turbo will spool up faster than a journal bearing turbo. Now, that's not really true. The boost threshold of the car uh, coming on to boost what RPM the turbo comes on boost really depends on the size of the turbine the weight of the turbine, the size of the impeller, uh, it really doesn't have much to do with the bearing system. I say in most cases, but an example would be if you're already in high RPM and you're driving the car and you take the gas off the car, uh, a journal bearing unit will slow down much quicker, or a ball bearing will take down to slow down. If you put your foot on the pedal again, uh, on a ball bearing system, the turbine already has some speed. It didn't really slow down that much as a journal bearing unit, and it will come back on boost faster. But the boost threshold, where the boost comes on in the car, if you take two identical turbos, one being a ball bearing, one being a journal bearing, it won't change. If the turbo comes on 4,000 RPM, it will still come on 4,000 RPM. It might be more responsive, but it's not gonna come any sooner with a ball bearing system. That being said, yeah, they're more reliable. They hold more time, uh, they get less wear. Now with uh, ceramic ball bearings even more, beforehand, uh, 10, 20 years ago, there used to be uh, steel ball bearings. Yep. And this is an example of uh, one of our developments. Uh, this is a carbon impeller. It's not a carbon fiber. It wasn't 3D printed. It was machined out of carbon pick. It's a special material. It's pretty expensive, but the whole idea here is really to lower the weight on the compressor wheels. And later on, we're gonna make also different turbine shafts. So titanium shafts, uh, billet shafts as well. We're really trying to develop and evolve the turbo system to get you a bigger turbo to spool faster. Yeah, so that's basically it for today. Thank you for watching, guys.